I represent the Sarvodaya Shramadana movement, which is a, a development, a humanitarian and peace building organization in Sri Lanka, which is founded on Buddhist and Gandhian principles and which had been around for the last 63 years, have been active on the ground from the beginning, even before the uh, war started, we were building bridges between the different communities living in Sri Lanka, Tamil, Sinhala, Muslim, Buddhist, Christian, Hindu, uh, and Islamic communities. And we continue to this date our struggle to build peace in Sri Lanka. Uh, Nonviolent direct action to stop war, stop violence has always been a mainstay of our work. At the same time, we believe in an integrated and a holistic approach which is based on spiritual awakening, moral awakening, and cultural awakening, which should accompany social, economic, and political awakening. We see a lot of crises around us at the moment, and we are the economic crisis we are facing is one manifestation of this crisis. We were, our approach to peace building in Sri Lanka has always been, we start the process by within ourselves, the spiritual, dimension of it, the inner peace aspect of it. And always we believed in action by ordinary people where we connect with each other at different levels and also try to form collective action. We have organized mass meditations, peace activists. We were doing a lot to create this mass consciousness, the spiritual consciousness to prevent violence in our societies. We could not come up with a system where the governance in the country could be fair by every citizen, every different group living in the country. So we are in that struggle even now. The second point is that we all know that people's lives are very much connected to the economy, how we satisfy our basic needs. So since independence in 1948, the economic model that we have been following, even before the COVID-19 hit us, there had been many disparities between different uh, communities, be, be, between different socioeconomic strata, between different geographic reasons, regions. We have been trying to introduce as a development organization, the concept of Gram Swaraj, the Gandhian concept of Gram Swaraj. So for 63 years, Sarvode has been working on this principle of devolved governance and which would create democracy at a grassroots level. So even before the war, during the war and after the war, we still believe that this devolved model of governance and economics is the way forward, which is built on a spiritual foundation. Through these uh, devolved uh, village organizations, we have been able to provide economic opportunities for young people who would have otherwise been attracted to violence. So we were able to mobilize hundreds and thousands of young people through peace building work, the, what we even call Shanti Sena movement, and also giving them economic opportunities. We were meeting the needs of most vulnerable communities in the country. Uh, when there were lockdowns, they were uh, very negatively impacted. So we had this whole concept of sharing, Shramadana, sharing of your labor, sharing of your wealth, sharing of your knowledge, sharing of your compassion, all that to put together, really bringing out volunteerism in the people, to uh, help the people affected uh, by the economic impact. Now, connecting with the regional, and I'll, uh, I'll finish with this, regional and international uh, uh, context, I think it's very, very important for us to bring in this uh, the spiritual dimension. We have to connect as hum hum human beings, ordinary human beings, through our compassion, our metta, and also uh, connect at a level of spiritual consciousness as the foundation for all our work. Just in the Gandhian tradition, standing very silently in front of those forces bravely and convincing them you are also part of our family, a part of our nation. Your children are also suffering right now. So please do not point your gun against your own people. And it has been effective so far. The, the day starting from tomorrow is going to be very critical for the country, for our country so we would very much uh, expect solidarity from all of you support and send your uh, send your spiritual energy to us 
and we are committed to a nonviolent social change in Sri Lanka. I thank the World Humanist Forum for giving me this opportunity to share our experience today. And I'm very happy that I was able to conclude this without uh, interruption uh, from, this, uh, from internet or from electricity because we are having 10 to 13 hour power cuts daily. Thank you very much and Mitha to all of you. Thank you.